CSV is one of most common data formats for transferring data. It's basically a plain text file which can have its information in a certain form structured. In this case, we have here information about person, okay, first name and last name, and we also have, among another information, we have the job title. And what's the goal here? How can I take the data from this file and set in Neo4j, the NoSQL database for graph relations? So what's the purpose? How we can have each person here as a node in the graph database? How can we take its job here and have it as a node in the graph database? And how can we ask for this graph database? Give me all people that works in a certain job and perform this query and know exactly who are these people. So if you want to know how to import CSV data to Neo4j database, let's see this video together. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael and I'm going to guide you through this ETL process to extract the data from CSV file to transform the data using the Node.js programming language and to load the data into Neo4j database. You need to have all these two tools available, but if you have difficult to install the Neo4j database, I have another video at this channel at this Neo4j playlist, so you can watch there and see how we can use the Docker container for instantiate a new Neo4j database. So now without more talking, let's start the execution of this process. This is a very simple code. We have here about 65 lines of code, okay? And it could be a little bit reduced if we need to. What we are doing here, basically we need to import the dependence to connect in the NL4J database, and also the dependence for connecting the file system in, of our own computer. Here, we are connecting in the Neo4j database using some kind of credentials and IP address. Here, we have some defined some kind of instruction that will erase the whole database before starting the import. So, with, with this instruction, I can run multiple times the importing process without having duplicated data. This instruction just encapsulated the four instructions I need to execute a cipher instruction in Neo4j database. Cypher is the, the carry language for Neo4j, like SQL is the carry language for relational database. And then, once you have the dependence here installed and available, we can have the logic for our pipeline, for our ETL process. So how we process that? Basically, we need one async function because most of database connections are performed in Node.js with promises that are a resource for asynchronous processing. Um, and here, then we start to first we clear the whole database and then we now read the CSV file. Here, I set just the file name because the file name, the file itself, is stored in the same package as the project. I have set this whole project in GitHub, so you can take that from there, including our data set. Okay, so here we read the, the CSV file, just define how many columns we have in the file, so nine columns, that's important for validations, and then we split the whole file in lines, because CSV file is organized in lines, and for each line, data separated with comma. So here is what it does. For each line, it's going to split that with a comma, okay? And then for each column, for each record, it then start now the processing. I have make together the two columns, two and three, first name and last name, and create one new column named username. Not exactly a new column, but it will be 
one attribute in our node for Neo4j database. So there I don't store the first name and last name separated, just one username with the whole string. It's just one decision I have made here. And I also extract the job title from the CSV file. And this job title will be utilized for creating then later on just here the job title from another job node. Okay, here just some kind of cleanup of data, taking out these double quotes that are inside the file. So now I have extract data for each line. For each line, we have really a single person. So with these two lines here, we create one person in Neo4j database. Returning to the Neo4j database, I open that, you may see each of these lines create one node like this one, in which you can see here at the bottom username. It's because it was created. And then, returning now to the code, we now have to create the job. However, we do not have to create the job for each line of CSV file, because sometimes more than one people will have the same job. So we have to create the job just in case it does not exist. So before creating the job with this instruction, we verify if this job already exists in the database. In case if it already exists, we do nothing. In case it does not exist, then we create the job. And then this create instruction here, it's going to generate to us, let's see directly in Neo4j database, it's going to generate to us this node here, the job nodes in which we have the job titles. Okay? And in the very end of the code, we create then the relationship between the person that had specific username and the job that's going to have this job title, it's going then to create one relationship named works, in which one person works in a certain job and create the relationship. And then we are going to the last part in which we can make questions directly to Neo4j database. Now the funnest part of this video in which we can play directly with Neo4j client. We can then ask that for Neo4j, our person that has a job which works in this job and the job has a certain title and then return this person. And here we have Angela, that Mr. Holden, Holden, Melissa Becker, and also Abigail. These four person here work, works as a foreign language teacher. And in case we execute the same carry here using the Node.js, let's open that here. If you observe in the end of the code after creating, after creating the relationships here at the end of the code, after a few seconds, we execute that directly in the, in the Node.js. And then here we can take a look at the results. And here we have the four name of the four people that work at this job. So you can interact with the data you have imported in Neo4j directly in Neo4j client, but you can interact with that using our Node.js client. So data is available to be consumed in the different ways you need to. Now, I hope you really have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.